go look at your team of heroes. For example, back to Celeste, click on stats, scroll all the way to the bottom here, go to the orange plus four and go through the items that you need to promote your color rank to orange plus four and find out which ones require chapter 14. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie, this is Hero War Central, and in this video I want to discuss the best way to farm items that maybe you're not thinking about. Now if you are a brand new player, or even a mid-level player, this video is for you. If you're a higher end player, maybe not the most new information for you, but it's a nice little refresher. I'm gonna take a look at Celeste here on Hero Wars Mobile, but a lot of what I'm saying in this video, aside from the chapter 14 stuff, is actually going to apply to Hero Wars Facebook and web as well. So if you are a Facebook web or mobile player, please stick around and watch the video to the end. It's the easiest way to support me at Hero War Essential. So Celeste, our favorite healer mage hybrid hero, one of the best heroes in the game. I can't say enough about Celeste, her effectiveness, all of that, but you have to farm a lot of items to rank up your heroes all the way up to orange plus four or red plus two on Hero Wars Facebook and web. And when you get down to these higher levels, orange plus four, you're gonna see a lot of very difficult to obtain items. One of them is this bad boy right here, the key to all doors. Now, if you take a look at this, it's made up of two separate recipe fragments. One of them is this little pyramid thing that you can build with multiple other parts. But the other piece, this fragment right here, these key to all doors recipe, you can't get this in game anywhere aside from the soul shop. We'll talk about that in a second. It says right here, this item will be available in campaign chapter 14. No, no problem. Let's go, let's go farm chapter 14. Mobile players, I think you know where I'm heading with this. There is no chapter 14 on Hero Wars Mobile. The game ends at chapter 13 and there's no way to farm these items. Now a lot of people think that this is a reference to them adding chapter 14 and 15 in the future because there is a chapter 14 and 15 on Hero Wars Facebook and web where you can farm these items no problem. Unfortunately the developers have said time and time again that there is no plans to add anything additional to the campaign either on mobile or Facebook and web. So how do we get these pieces of recipes or recipe fragments or whatever you call it? Occasionally it's available in the soul shop, the Soul Stones shop, but if you can't get it from there, you have to get it from various events that might be rotating through. You can potentially get it after a couple of months of farming the Hero's Way monthly season pass. You can get this Matter Transfigurator and you can see it has a complete key to all doors in it right there. And that's kind of the point of this whole video. Whenever people think about farming for items, your first instinct is to go to the campaign and then find whatever mission it is that's the best to farm those items. Of course, the best overall mission is gonna be chapter nine, mission one. This raid is the best because of the amount of these three items that you need on all of your heroes. But aside from that, when you're looking to level up the color rank of these heroes, you just click on the item and then you, you know, you click on this, get now, and then you click on that, and then you just do the highest mission that you can do, in my case, chapter nine, mission eight, and then you, you know you rate it or you start it or whatever you gotta do. And that's how, generally speaking, you farm the items. Now I just rated this what? 20 times or something show all yeah 20 i rated it 21 times and i got let's see how many of those items okay so there's one there's two and that's it so i rated it 21 times and i got two of the items that i was looking for two of these uh, sphere items, whatever they're called, the uh, sphere of power fragment. So while that's the most common way to farm for items in Hero Wars and Hero Wars Mobile, uh, very frequently overlooked are these shops. Now I get a lot of questions all the time about specific shops. Charlie, what's the best thing to buy from the arena shop? Charlie, what's the best thing to buy from the Outland shop? And I've covered all of these in separate videos individually. So if you wanna just search on my channel, you can. The best thing to buy from the dungeon shop, the best thing to buy from the tower shop. Go ahead and check all those out. Now, whenever you look at these shops, you're presented with these four hero choices. I think the Highwayman has, yeah, the Highwayman has four. The dungeon does has these two right here, but this is a specialty shop. The Grand Arena has got four heroes. The Even the Hero's Way, the new shop, has got these two heroes right here. And that's everybody's first instinct is to spend this currency on the heroes. But what I would actually recommend is to buy these recipe fragments instead. You can click on these and you can see what you got. You can see you own one, own zero, own zero. You're gonna get a lot of grand arena coins over the course of a day, a week, a month. You're gonna get a lot of arena coins just by doing the arena every day. You're gonna get a lot of tower coins and everybody just dumped them, dumps them into these soul stones and then you can convert them over to the soul stone shop. And then everybody thinks about Jed or maybe artifact chest keys, but look at all of these items. Every single one of these shops, even the hero's way shop has items in it. Every single one has items that you can purchase. Well, I guess the dungeon shop <laughs> doesn't. The outland shop is 
got some items that you can purchase in here. The town shop even has items that you can buy with gold. Now, if you pay attention, these shops reset frequently. I believe you get one free reset for most of the shops. So you can reset it. And then when the countdown ends, it'll reset again. And you can continually reset it for more emeralds, or you can just, you know, reset it for free every day. So you could go through and buy all of the items. For example, here on the Highwayman shop, I could buy, I don't know, the funeral totem here, bam. And then I can reset it. And then, you know, look, look, there's Desert Blades. I could use Desert Blades for sure. Oh, I don't have enough coins. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. So there, there are two kinds of shops in here. There's the basic activity shops, and this is represented by the various activities that you can do in the game. The arena, the tower, the highwayman, the outland shop, the grand arena, and I believe that's all of them. And then there's these specialty ones that are a little bit more difficult to obtain the currency for. The dungeon shop, for example, you have to do a specific task in the dungeon, collecting a specific amount of Titanite every day. The soul stone shop, you have to have an absolute star hero to unlock this shop. And then any excess soul stones you get are converted into the soul coin currency. And by the way, this is the only way to get chapter 14 items in the game when there's not an event active, all right? So I would recommend going in here and buying every of these items that you can. Every, every item in the soul stone shop that you can buy every single day the guild war shop obviously you have to get guild war trophies in the guild championship shop you've got to get these global championship trophies no items in here this is mostly all cosmetic and of course the hero's way shop is all about getting the currency from the the monthly seasonal battle pass offering now if there's a hero in here that you absolutely love maybe you love tristan it's not going to be the most efficient thing to purchase tristan instead of say skin stone chests or gold maybe some of the larger items but if you love tristan or in the soul stone shop Maybe you need Jet for your team, or how about in the tower shop? Maybe you really need Dante. Maybe you really need Orion for your ODH. Maybe you're trying to build a Kai team. Then, yeah, go ahead and spend the coins on these heroes. But after you get that hero or two or three heroes out of here, summon maybe up to two or three stars, maybe even four or five stars, maybe even absolute star. Make sure you go back in here and you're buying these items every day. Make sure you're checking what items are available in these shops every day because you're leaving a lot of items on the table. Now, to be clear, I'm not saying to buy items just for the sake of buying items. For example, I've got 9,000 soul coins here. Does that mean I should buy all five of these items? Well, I mean, you could if you need them, but only if you need them. Do I need pasture seals? Do I need flaming hearts? Do I need the citadel guardian? Do I need key to all doors? I mean, I definitely definitely need those for my Celeste. If nothing else, you need to unlock the Soulstone shop and you need to check this shop every single day for chapter 14 items. Go look at your team of heroes. For example, back to Celeste, click on stats, scroll all the way to the bottom here, go to the orange plus four and go through the items that you need to promote your color rank to orange plus four and find out which ones require chapter 14. All right, make a list of those items that require chapter 14. There's not a lot, but there are a handful and make sure if you're leveling up Celeste, make sure you're buying these key to all doors recipe fragments from the soul coin shop every time they pop up make sure you do that now over on facebook and web we have a little bit fewer shops overall but that doesn't mean that they're not still effective there's definitely items that can be purchased in every single shop outland shop guild war shop soul shop they can you know absolutely purchase these items energy is a finite resource that ticks up very slowly one per six minutes and you saw me raid that one mission 21 times and i only got two of the items that i was looking for just clicking on a random mission that was 210 energy that i spent trying to get two items and I only looted two of the item that I was looking for. Let's raid this mission 17 times. This is 170 170 energy. Let's see how many of these two items that I get. Let's just let's just see what happens here. All right, so I spent 170 energy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that was a <laughs> that was a pretty good result actually. That was a pretty uh, pretty good result for raiding this mission here on uh, on Facebook and web. But the strategy remains the same. Guys, every day you're doing all these activities. Every day you're doing your arena hits. Every day you're in the grand arena. Every day you're doing the tower. Every day you're sending friendship coins or doing the highwayman system on Hero Wars Mobile. Every day you're opening outland chests and fighting outland bosses. Don't forget to buy items from these shops. It is by far the best way to farm for items in this game. Farming for items with energy is completely inefficient and it's very random and you're not guaranteed to get any of the items that you're looking for unless you just throw hundreds of thousands of energy at an individual mission. Now again, Chapter 9, Mission 1, best mission in the game by far. Make sure you're raiding that one every single day. Guys, if you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like. It doesn't take very long, and it helps promote my YouTube video to the Outland bosses. They usually don't like me, but if you like my video enough, maybe they'll just like me a little bit more. We live stream Monday through Friday. Got a schedule on screen now. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.